Hey guys, it's lunchtime in the city. Let's go eat. All right, so I'm on East 48th Street on Madison. We're working our way up to 62nd. We're gonna go visit Tony Dragons. And uh, what do we do here? Well, I equate myself to a bull in a china shop. I do not prepare. I just go to a place and order food. Why do I do this? Well, just like you guys, I watch uh, food videos on YouTube and I love it. The only problem is the videos I was watching uh, regarding New York City had the uh, YouTuber go up to the owner and talk to the owner and the owner's giving him a hamburger that's, you know, six feet tall and all this food. And I'm like, wow, I'm two blocks away from there. I'm gonna try it out. Then I'd show up, uh, the price was double and the food was half. So that's why I got kind of ticked off a little bit. I'm like showing me this thing on YouTube and then when I go and show up, I get half the food. And they're like, oh, sorry, that's it. This is how it is. So I wanted to do something special where this is what you get. If you come into the city and you walk right up to the spot, no preparation, that's the food you're gonna get. So that's what I like showing off. For all you guys that talk about the scaffolding in New York City, the reason there's a lot of scaffolding is because these buildings pay to have the facade cleaned. Whether it's glass, whether it's stone, whether it's brick, they have to remortar or do whatever they have to so do. So the reason you have the scaffolding is so you don't have anything fall on your head. I've walked under one once where I heard a boom, right? Whatever tool fell. So it's for our protection. That's why it's there while they're cleaning, while they're fixing, doing whatever they need to do. So the last thing I need is to have a, a hammer hanging off my head or take a deep breath through the top of my skull. Uh, I don't need that. You also might be thinking, why is this guy talking so much? Well, because I'm an idiot and started filming 20 blocks away. I'm on 55th Street right now. 12 more blocks. Whew feeling it. This cool store here. All right, so this guy, Tony Dragon. I hear a lot of good things. I walked past there a couple weeks ago and the line was insane. I'm on 55th, 58th Street. Uh, another 22 blocks to go. I don't know. I have no clue. 59th Street, 40 blocks to go. All right, approaching 61st Street. I call this the cutting point for me, right? Because now you get into the brownstones. Once you look back, you got all the buildings. So on 61st Street, you start seeing a change. Now we go from humongous buildings to brownstones. The reason I'm still talking, it's because I'm 48 blocks away. I'm on 61st Street. If you guys are still tuned in and watching me, thank you so much. As I said in the beginning, I have no idea what I'm doing. So let's go, let's go on this adventure. Here we are, East 62nd Street and Madison, Tony Dragon's Grill. I was walking so fast, I almost walked past it. Now, when you guys walk fast, is it normal to like get dizzy? Let me know. Here it is. The line is not as big as I've seen it before. I came a little later. I, I, either it's early for me or later, but I can't do uh, 1130 to 12, 15. Like it's, it, there's a hundred people here. So that's what I ordered. The gypsy dog with the chili money, 450. It's supposed to be spicy right there. Cause you know, why not? Look at that, it's amazing. Look at this great setup, love it. Look at this, this is great marketing too. There's 58 people in there, all working hard. No wasted movement in there. Everybody knows what they're doing. They're going, uh, they're putting out to-go bags. They are, look at this line. It's amazing. I waited probably 10 minutes. It goes pretty quick. But look at that. No wasted movement inside this truck. Everybody knows what they're doing. And you could also order online and pick up. So I'm still recovering from Corona Ave uh, hot sauce. So uh, what do I do? Uh, I order hot sauce, right, on a hot dog. So I didn't say I was bright. Pellegrino, that was three bucks. And then the hot dog was 450. But I didn't get a cool bag. This is what I got. This is what I got. This is the hot dog. I'll tell you guys, no respect. No respect for the hot dog guy. You got to order the platter to get the whole nice setup. So hot dog is grilled. You got the chili mon sauce, chili moni sauce. So I had to find a quiet spot here. I think I'm on 64th Street between Madison and 5th. And uh, here it is. I mean, 
I got it in a brown, in a brown paper bag. It was almost like no respect, right? Almost like they didn't want to sell it to me. Like, like really, you ordered a hot dog? Here, here you go. Get out of here. Get out of here, right? And, and I paid for it. But this is it. The chili money sauce, hot sauce, right? Skinless. And uh, the, the bun itself is just crazy soggy. All right, let's try it out. I could barely taste the sauce. It's not spicy at all. I could barely taste it. You know what this reminds me of? The sauce reminds me of like the, the, the uh, chip sauce that you get when you go to a Mexican restaurant. That dipping sauce that you just put in front of you and you start dipping your nachos in them. That's what it tastes like. It's not spicy at all. Thank God. But I guess, I, guess uh, I don't know. It's just, it's just weird. The dog's all soggy. That's why I don't like it when they wrap it up. And then the sauce looks like it's just, you know, it's just slapped on there. The hot dog itself, it's grilled. It's grilled nicely, right? But it, the sauce is like, mm, I don't taste it too much. It's like, it's like putting uh, the Tostitos hot sauce on here. Not the Tostitos, hot, the hot salsa, right? Medium, putting it on here. It's like putting the Tostitos medium salsa on here. I tell you, no respect for the hot dog guys. Paper, brown paper bag. Here you go, get out of here. Go out through the back. I don't want you going out through the front. All right, last bite, and I'm gonna head back to the office. Uh, what do I rate this? The hot dog's grilled really well. I like it, right? It's a definite, it's a, it's a skinless, I would say, Nathan's. Um, with the sauce and everything, 7-2, 7-3. I would say 7-2. I just don't like the, uh, the way it was handed to me. It's edible. So Pellegrino, 7-2. Not a lost day. It was good. I, I like their setup, though. I, I am going to come back and order a burger or a meal. You guys tell me what you want. I actually wanted, like, a chicken skewer, but they didn't have, they don't have that. I, I would love to try that. I'm sweating, hot sauce, you know, uh, all I did was walk 20 blocks to get hot sauce in, in, a, in a 98 degree weather day with humidity. That, that's me, that's the show. I hope you guys enjoyed it, bye. Look at this, John's Grill since 1986. Now I got my next video idea. Oh, stay tuned for the next one. Let's call it Greek week. It's gonna be Greek week for us. All right, thanks guys. Okay, one last look, Tony Dragon's Grill. Still a line, still a line. Wow. All right, I'll come back and get something chicken related.